station. We will be part. Hey y'all, so we have made it to Miami at the Dental Design Smile apartment. So this is like, they provide you, they didn't do this last time, but I guess since then they've accumulated some property and they turn it into like a vacation stay so that when you come and get your teeth done, you don't have to worry about booking a hotel or anything like that, which I think is cool because as you guys know, in hotels and apartments and Airbnbs can be kind of expensive. So the fact that they, the fact that they provide you with the room, I think that's really cool. It has like a little balcony. Um, here's like the living room. It's nothing crazy. It just looks like a normal apartment. But it has like a full bathroom, full kitchen, nice TV, fridge, everything. I'm not giving y'all a tour because it's not, like I said, it's not nothing crazy exotic, but I am showing y'all around a little bit. Um, here's one bedroom. And then here is another bedroom. It's a twin size and a queen size bed. And then you have the bathroom. I'm getting some of my stuff set up in here because I will be here. I checked in today and I check out on Thursday. So I'm just kind of getting settled in, get my hygiene stuff together. He just walked across the street and got us some Salvadorian food, if that's how you pronounce it. It's this place called um, El At Atlacat. I'm obviously probably pronouncing that wrong, but that's what it's called. And he just walked across the street to go get our food, but I'm just letting my phone charge. I'm gonna, like I said, settle in, get settled in, put my little things up, cause I did bring like some of my supplements, my vitamins, obviously hygiene products, computer, camera, tripod. Um, I did not, uh, as you guys see, can see, I did not do my hair before I left. I had a really kind of long, crazy weekend. I had went to a funeral um and spent time with their family and then after that i kind of rested cleaned my house and packed so i did not have time to do my hair but i am going to do my hair today before we get going so it is like noon it's 12 we landed here at like 9 45 close to 10 got the car got the rental um and then headed straight to the apartment check-in wasn't supposed to be till four but they gave us an early check-in so there's that so yeah, I'm just getting everything settled in and then I'm gonna install this wig and get dressed and then we are going to most likely go to the beach or go find something to do. Because even though I'm getting my teeth done, this is a vacation still, okay? And didn't have to pay for no, uh, no hotel or no apartment or nothing, please. We just needed a bite to eat before we start this weekend. But yeah, Sunday through Thursday, check in Sunday, check out Thursday. I packed the big suitcase. Oh shit. I packed the big suitcase. My thing is completely full. He packed the smaller one and his is only half full. How that happened, I don't know. Maybe I packed the whole lot. I don't know. But I'll show y'all our food and then like I said, we'll get ready to go have our first evening Sunday night in Miami. Okay, period. Look at all the goodies. As you guys know, I recently shaved my head, but I still am me, y'all. Y'all already know I love to switch my looks up, short, long, different colors, whatever. I feel like I try and pull off everything under the sun. So today we're working with Julia Hair, and they sent over this beautiful beach body wave. It's kind of like a red um, auburn type color. I found it online and I was like, you know what? This would be perfect for Miami. So shout out to Julia Hair for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Make sure you check out the description box below for more details. And let me get into this story time with this teeth, y'all hear me out okay okay so while we install this which is not going to take that long um i want to get into why I'm miami why i'm getting my teeth done blah 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 so i'm putting this wig on real quick it's glueless i'm gonna just you can glue it but i'm gonna just use some uh hairspray and be done with the shit so a lot of y'all are like well, you know why I'm in Miami clearly because of the title, but a lot of you guys are confused as to why I am getting my teeth done again because as you guys know, I got my teeth done in 2022 and it's only 2023, right? So the reason I am getting my teeth done, which by the way, today's Sunday, I'm getting my teeth done on Memorial Day tomorrow at 11, 
11 p.m. is my uh, 11 a.m. is my first appointment and then they're doing my temporaries at 12 30 and then I come back at the end of this month to get my permanents done so pretty much the whole story with my teeth and y'all be asking me in the comments like oh my gosh they look so good where did I get them done and the reason I don't tell y'all is because my teeth were messed up like they didn't do a good job with my teeth the material that they used is really not made for you know what I'm saying not made for what I'm having done um which is veneers so as you guys can see I have teeth done but like it stopped right here and I'm smiling you still see my yellow teeth which it is what it is but to me they should have went further back on top of that if you look really close if I show y'all there is so much discoloration because of how many times I've chipped my teeth due to them using composite instead of porcelain composite people offer composite veneers at a cheaper rate but it's they're really composite materials not designed for veneers themselves they're, it's a binding agent so there's at least like six different shades in just these front teeth because they've been chipped and then I've had to go to the doctor and get them fixed. I got my teeth originally done in Miami and um, I live in Nashville. So obviously when I was getting my teeth fixed, I was having to get them fixed in Nashville. So I had a few doctors that felt bad for me because of how, how basically how I got messed up over and they would fix it for free a few times, but they typically cost anywhere from three to five hundred dollars per chip okay we're not talking about replacing a whole tooth we're talking about they're just replacing a corner like a chipped tooth right so let's see what this is giving pause in our store right now y'all know julia hair usually gives so as it should as it should i plucked a little bit but for the most part um this was them i did pluck just a tad though I could have plucked more but honestly Julia's usually comes completely like plucked so I didn't think I would need to pluck so plus I'm on vacation I, I want to get out in the streets I don't want to be doing all that so this is good enough for me but like I was saying should I straighten it or leave it naturally like curly how it is but anyways basically I got composite at first porcelain is what you see people getting like when you see celebrities and shit get veneers, they got porcelain veneers. They are not going out here getting composite veneers. I feel like this company has created something called composite to make it accessible for someone with a, you know, middle to low class can still get it done versus doing the porcelain. Like in Nashville, they don't even offer the composite veneers. They just do porcelain. And a full amount of porcelain veneers is like $40,000. Here in Miami, you can get them done for like twelve. dollars Comp um porcelain not composite with all that being said when I, my teeth kept chipping i mean my teeth were chipping before i left miami the first time i really got them done my teeth were chipping then and i i was kind of like going back up there getting them fixed and i was thinking i was asking them like what am i gonna do when i go home like when y'all are not here to fix my teeth what the fuck am i gonna do and they're pretty much like fly back out here and we'll fix it for you and i'm like I'm not, I break them too often. I'm not going to fly back out here. And at this point, I was using my mouth guard. Like, I could go and buy a sausage and my tooth would break. It was just really frustrating. Whenever I did it, I wouldn't get on camera. Whenever I broke my teeth, I would not get on camera. It was just like a whole ordeal. And then every time I got my teeth fixed in Nashville, whenever I would go back to work, sometimes you would be able to see the discoloration downstairs in my club because of the, like, black and blue, like, bray lights whatever they're freaking called y'all know the, the strobe lights you could see the discoloration sometimes like not enough for someone to say something but like i seen it i was uncomfortable with it and it, it just really was frustrating like even right now on camera obviously it's on camera it's from afar so you cannot tell but like if i was to get up close you can you can't really i just ate but you can in person in person you can tell like that there's discoloration going on and it really just kind of frustrates me and it, it's an insecurity i got my teeth done for a reason like i don't want some of my back teeth with, with my original teeth color to show when i smile i don't want to be having some cheap ass um material in my mouth that's breaking when i go to eat sausage for god's sake i'm not even talking about neck bones i'm talking about like dollar sausage and my teeth will break like i have to chew in the back it's just 
it was just too much the composite to me is not worth it which is why when y'all ask me about my teeth I don't tell you where to go or none of that I'm gonna wait to see how they do my porcelain which porcelain is a much better like material so I'm pretty sure I won't have these issues anymore but I had them cut me a deal which is the difference the difference in the okay porcelain with at the time that I was doing it cost 12,000 and the composite costed 5000 so I had them subtract the price of the composite from the porcelain because I feel like if I have to come back I've had to get my teeth fixed like five or six times in Nashville and then I have to pay for a flight to come back take off work do all that to fix something that y'all should have should have never did in the first place and I feel like y'all should cut me a deal I had to threaten with <clears throat> I had to threaten them and tell them I was going to go to the Florida State Board of Dentistry and provide all the documentation and proof in order for them to cut me a deal on the porcelain price so they knocked off $5,500 off of the $12,000 for my price for porcelain and like I said I had to threaten them with going to the Florida board of dentistry in order for them to even like do the right thing so it has been very stressful um like i said they're gonna give me some temporary teeth and they're gonna assess my teeth and then i am going to come back at the end of this month and get uh the porcelain permanent teeth but like i said i'm about to shower um get ready for the evening and then i'll come back and show you guys the final look, okay? Okay, this is the final look of the wig. I am gonna stop by the store, get me a ponytail holder so I can do a half up, half down, and I'm gonna leave it wavy like this because I feel like we on vacation, we in Miami, like, the wavy wild look just kind of goes with my mood like let's just have a great time fuck it you know so i think i'm gonna do that and then as far as my outfit you guys cannot see that well but i just did like this white tank in these forever 21 they gathered the ankle ankle bracelet and that's it i saw a video that said if we do the tiki thing in person is it supposed to rain? Okay. Anyway, I saw a video that said if we do the tiki thing in person that we get a better deal on it. So we are going to try and do that instead. But yeah, I think this wig turned out really cute. I probably could have melted it one more time, but I think it's giving. I honestly think it's giving. I went for dramatic baby hair, like fluffy, dramatic. Not supposed to be realistic. It's supposed to just be like all over the place. And I like the natural pattern that this wig came in. So if I didn't say it already, thank you again, Julia Hair, so much for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I'm on vacation, not having to worry about my hair. It already came ready to throw on. Glueless, got to be no blow dryer, no nothing like that. Like I said, I'm gonna stop and get a ponytail holder and do half a path down. But even if I wanted to wear it just down like this, I think that gives. But I will see y'all in a little bit we finna wrap up here and head pretty much to the beach see what the tiki's is hitting for So it is Tuesday, the day after Labor Day. It's like 10:17 in the morning. 10:17 on the track. But we're going to this place called like Blue Lagoon. Um, just about to do a few last minute touches, getting ready, moisturize my face. I switched out the battery in the camera because I'm gonna take you guys with me today. Um, bless you. I did not take y'all with me yesterday because I went and got my temporary teeth and like. They had to remove my composite veneers, shave down my teeth, 
I had gum surgery. They like cut a whole bunch of my gums and stuff for the new design that I'm getting. And they gave me these temporary teeth. So my mouth, I was honestly at the dentist all day. And I was just kind of out of it. Eventually, the medicine kind of wore off. I was pretty much there from like 10.30 to like, what time did you pick me up? Like 6.30? Yeah, like 10.30 to like 6.30, I was there. And it was freaking miserable. Like, I know my teeth look big, but these are my temporaries. I'm going to come back in like two weeks and get um, my permanent teeth finally. So, yeah. It was rough at the dinner shop. I was low-key having an anxiety attack like for like an hour straight, but I got through it. I got through it. I finally stopped bleeding and stuff. I was bleeding a whole lot at first too. But I just want to check in with y'all let y'all know my bad for not picking y'all up yesterday. Your girl had a rough day yesterday, okay? But since we are about to step out, y'all already know what time it is. Dossier in the building. If I'm talking with a lisp, it's because I have these fat ass teeth on my teeth, okay? Work with me, okay? But Dossier is a company that offers um, cologne, perfume, diffusers, um, candles. Like literally, those are the four products they have, but they have so many scents in each of those products. Um, floral Marshmallow, Fruity Jasmine, just to name a few, are my favorite. Fruity Ambery. Yeah, those are some of my favorite scents from them. And they have some of those scents in the diffusers as well as, as the candles. Here's the box that it comes in. And then it has like the information card right here. You'll get your information card with every product so that you can know exactly what your thing was inspired by, what the top notes are, what the top notes are, what the medium notes are. So this is Fruity Almond right here. And the top notes are Almond and Peach. The middle notes are Oris, Orange Blossom, and Tuberose. And the base notes are Tonka Bean, Vanilla, and Cocoa. And this is inspired by Carolina Herrera good girl so everyone knows about carolina herrera it smells freaking amazing and the concentration is 15 percent it tells you how it works in their mission so make sure you guys take a look at your little inf information card and the good thing about it is with this i know a lot of you guys may or may not know about dossier but if you order something and you don't like it you can absolutely send it back and either get a refund or get something else which I suggest you just get something else, girl, because what I'm not doing in 2023 or any year after this is spending $200 on perfume. I'm freaking over it, okay? Consumerism, I'm done with it. I'm not doing it anymore. I want whatever is affordable and whatever is quality. So I have a discount code for you guys in the description box below to purchase your dossier items. And then also they have, they provide a bulk discount. So if you get like three or more of the same thing, they give you a bulk discount at checkout on top of my code. So you can like stack the codes up and have a grand time, okay? So this is Fruity Almond. I wore this yesterday. No, I wore this the day before yesterday. Yeah, when we, when we get the boat ride and stuff, I wore it. And it smells really good. It smells so good. I actually wore that Carolina Herrera in um, 20, 2020. 2019 and 2020. I also did Black Opium too. So, But yeah, I wore this the first day down here. And it is the bomb. It smells so good. It smells very mature. Just like Carolina, it smells very mature, but still has that sweet, sweet hint to it, which is where the almond comes in. But yeah, if you guys are looking, I know the holidays are right around the corner. If you're looking for a gift for your man or your family or, you know, someone who loves candles or home diffusers, anything like that, make sure you check out the description box because Dossier has a wide variety and you will not be disappointed. Okay, since I'm out here in Miami. Looking for the hoochie daddies. I'm just playing. But no, yeah. I'm out here in Miami and I packed my dossier because who? Who? Okay. Some of y'all think I just use that at work. No, I use dossier every day. If you look at my bathroom on some of my vlogs, you will see my little thing is full of dossier. It's really all I wear. I ain't gonna lie. Like I said, we are about to head to Blue Lagoon. Stop and get some um sunscreen. Yeah, he don't okay, so yeah, we finna have to stop at a store thousand percent get some sunscreen so that we not burnt the fuck up and then we heading out so i will see y'all later
you guys it's been a few days i know so i am back home in nashville tennessee it is if you hear kids screaming my nephew is in the shower and he hates taking showers i didn't think he was gonna scream like that um, it is like Thursday at like 11.44 p.m. Almost midnight. I just picked them up from the airport. My little brother and my nephew are out here for almost a week visiting. Which I'm so excited about because I have my nephew. I just be getting pictures of him and I look up and he just grown. Like, slow down. TT not ready. And obviously, I know my brother. We like this and I ain't seen him in a minute. So, they come out here today and they leave on Monday. So, I'm about to spend time with them. But as far as Miami, Miami was freaking lit. Uh, some of... Miami, I did not vlog simply because I was trying to. Hello? What is pizza guy pizza? Yeah. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, thank you. I ordered a pizza and he was like, Can you come downstairs and get it? Uh, can you deliver it? I don't want to come downstairs and get it. I'm doing something. Okay, so, anyways, let me wrap this up because clearly the pizza man's coming. Okay, the dryer's going off. My nephew pissed because he's in the shower. Let me go ahead and wrap this up. Miami was lit. I did not vlog uh, the last few days. I did not vlog the day I got my te my temporaries put in and my composite veneers taken out. I already explained why. And then some of the days after that, like at the beach, I just wanted to enjoy the beach. But um, I will be going back at the end of the month to get my permanent veneers. And that's when I'll do 72 hours in Miami vlog. So make sure you're, you stay tuned for that. On a scale of one to 10, I give this trip like a nine. Um, all the food was good. I had Salvadorian food, I had Cuban food, I had Mexican food, I had pizza. Um, I just had a bunch of good food. Like, it was really good. My favorite part was probably the Blue Lagoon, which was a part you guys saw of me swimming and stuff like that. That place was super beautiful. And then like the patch of heaven was fire too. Like I was saying, other than that, overall Miami was lit. I, if I'm talking weird, it's because of these these temporary teeth that I have in my mouth, they don't really fit because I got my gums cut and it just feels like I have a retainer in at all times. It just feels weird. And then I have my actual retainer still in my mouth on the inside of my teeth. So it's like I have braces and a grill on, basically is how it feels. So if I'm talking weird for this next like two vlogs, please just have mercy on my soul because it's just my teeth, okay? And I'm, I'm in a little discomfort, okay? But yeah, that's it for the Miami vlog. Um, I hope you guys enjoy spending this week with me and I'll see you in the next video.